Hello, I'm Maria Falzo, and I am here in trade in Upper Montclair. This is a beautiful atelier created by Gina Lamort, who's been my friend and celebrity stylist for too many too years. Many years. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for oh, having me. Thank, thank, thank you for having for me. Here. And we want to talk about how you led from celebrity stylist to now designer. Yeah, so it's been really interesting, as you said. I worked as a celebrity stylist for people like Oprah and People Style Watch and the more Mall of Short Hills and lots of great clients, which I love doing. Um, but my pure passion was to help others. You know that we have a lot of yes. philanthropy mixed with fashion experience together. Yes. And so I wanted to take what was in my hands, which was fashion, and be able to do something good and give back. So I created a handbag collection, which has now grown into fashion. Yes. Um, for women and children who've been victims of trafficking and abuse. And it's just my way of being able to tell their story and you know, give a new spin on fashion, right? Sure. I mean, really, everything is kind of oversaturated. And for us, I wanted to create something special, something meaningful, and to be able to tell a story behind um, what my passion really is. Absolutely. And so we talked a little earlier and we were talking about the difference of, you know, everything right now is all about fast fashion and, and what that means, sustainability and for the for the environment, but but we're taking it back to slow fashion and yes. slowing that down. So tell us a little bit about the process. When you come to trade, what is the experience gonna be? So this is definitely a very unique um, experience here at Trade. And I emphasize the word experience because like you said, it's bringing back the couture of Paris and bringing it here to Montclair. And what does that really mean? Well, I think that for us, it means creating something custom. Yes. You know, a lot of the pieces that we have are one of a kind. You can't get them, you know, for example, even this like gorgeous like butterfly clutch. Everything is made locally here. Um, we work with some really great artisans and just, I wanted to be able to um, define what a fashion experience is person to person. Sure. You know, work with the customer, figure out where they're going, what they're doing, and to design something just for them so that nobody else has it. Right. You know, everyone wants to feel special, right? You want to go to the party or whatever, the charity, and walk in and be like, oh, this is mine. Right. Nobody else has this And there's a, there's a story behind it. Yes. And I think that's story. part of the conversation. <laughs> So. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, and I guess, like you said, if you're if you're out, there is a story. Okay, my bag symbolizes, you know, the transformation of women worldwide. Yes. It's not just another piece of material, but there there's an important story, and even with the materials, everything gives back. So it's not just even making it locally here. Right. But it's about the materials that we purchase and what we get. Every little piece of it gives back to somebody in the world. So tell us about the tassels and and these these handbag charms that you do because I think the story behind them is amazing. Thank you. So these are our um, feather and fringe bag charms and basically what happened with this and actually the whole entire inspiration for my collection was to use these recycled sari ribbons that I found in India mm -hmm. which give back to women um, who have been victims of domestic violence mm -hmm. and so when I found them I was just so inspired by their texture and you know here's a couple even more um, just to see the texture and the beautiful colors and I wanted to combine that with other fabrications and textures that inspired me. So we make these bag charms and they're actually one of our best sellers. You can put them on any bag. Sure. You know, we have them lots of different colors and people love them. Yeah, so one of the things that I learned today is that your clothing is gorgeous and designed by you, you, but what is amazing is that you have now acquired a former seamstress of Oscar de la Renta himself to be making all of your clothing. Yes. So when you come here, I mean, the experience is truly couture. <laughs> it absolutely is. How did you find that secret. miracle? <laughs> that you shared, thank you. Um, yeah, you know what? She is a wonderful Italian woman who has sewn, literally, I mean, she's made gowns for Jennifer Garner and every pretty much Oscar and Emmy Award and, you know, yes. even runway collection for Oscar. She was, she was um, her go-to, you know, his go-to girl. Sure. And so now, yeah, she sews all of the collection. So if you come here and you pick out something, she's going to be sewing it and making it, which can't get better than that. Yes, I it think. certainly can. I mean, I see here some of the process. Yeah. I mean, is this your sketch? This yeah. is actually yeah. something that you created and, and you're going from 
that to this, which is gorgeous. Yeah, well, you know, we like to sketch things and then come up with the different material trims. And you'll right. see around, even in the store itself, um, which I really like to call a design studio, you're gonna see me working. Yes. I really wanted to invite people into my process. Yes. And so that's why we display the sketches, we display the, the process of you know how you're making something. It's okay. not just about seeing the end result. I believe that it's important for people to see what's behind the scenes. Yes. And invite them into the experience of creating instead of excluding them. You yes. know, it's, it's more inclusive. So I like to share kind of the secrets of what we do behind the scenes and let people know what it takes to really build a fashion collection. Absolutely. And what led you back to Montclair, where well, you could be probably anywhere in the world? Well, um, we might be in other places in the world soon. Okay. <laughs> but, um, Montclair for me, I, you know, when I left the city, I moved to Montclair and I've been here 15 years or so. Sure. And it's just my community. I love this town so much and I feel like there's so many creatives here. Mm -hmm. There's so many beautiful people here doing dynamic things. And I just wanted to be able to kind of plant my feet here again and sure. feel like I could give this experience. You know, we can be in the city too, but you know, why not be here and let people come in and create and just observe and also be a part of something new. Sure. Um, just something different, you know, just and people always looking in the window and then coming in and saying, wow, what are you guys doing in here? Right. They want to sew or they want to um, be a part or create something. Like I was saying, you know, we've got a lot of different pieces for bags that you can come create. And yes, I see your whole bags. custom wall there that you could pair and match with different bags, yeah. which is amazing and make it your own. Yes, make it your own for sure. So, you know, we have a lot of fun experiences, not just shopping. So tell us a little bit about the bags. I know that this is the butterfly yes. and this is the cocoon, yes. right? Okay, so tell me a little bit about the butterfly. So the butterfly can be worn three ways. It has a crossbody or you can wear it as a, um, a clutch or you can even fold it over as a clutch. Cause you know, you sometimes want to have diversity within one bag. Sure. So I designed it for that reason. Love and that. then this is just one of our um, signature feather and fringe bag charms. And all of these are made with the recycled ribbons, with some of the feathers, and you can see those on a lot of the different bags. And then one of the things that we do here in Montclair, mm -hmm. and only here, is that um, we, you know, if you just kind of remove that, we make what's called like centers. So you know how a butterfly has a beautiful, there's so much beauty in a butterfly, right? Sure. So we make custom centers, so you can actually get this put on. Oh wow. Right, isn't that great? So you That's can get this beautiful. done on um, all the different butterfly bags. And we've got lots and lots of trims, which I'll show you later. Yeah. So you can customize your trim that you want and just make your bag over the top. Okay? Yes. I love that. So. Unbelievable. Okay, great. So tell me about the cocoon. So the cocoon is just more of um, part of our, you know, other side of the butterfly story, right? Yes. Um, those are shaped like cocoons. <laughs> so, and they're great. And that is the mini cocoon. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's just, you know, a different shape from the butterfly, which is like a little more curvy. And that comes in three different styles. So we have the mini, we have the XL cocoon, mm -hmm. and we have the Medi. And, um, you know, just in terms of talking about fabrications, this is a really great lizard print that we get from Florence. Wow. All of our suede's and our leathers are from Italy yeah. and Spain. Yes. And one of the things that is really important to me is that everything is vegetable tan. Yes, we were talking about the, the dye, that's the dyeing process. Yes, yes. so um, with vegetable tanning, you know, it's non-toxic, it's safe for you, and it also gives just some really great texture to the leather. So it just has like that worn in look and it looks really great as time goes on. I mean, I have to tell you, there's so much leather in this store, but you don't smell. There's nothing, you don't smell. No. There's nothing that you, it's. No, it's safe. It's safe and it's, safe. yes, exactly. Um, and also, you know, just, yeah, it's just part of, of what we do. We're just, you know, organic in a lot of our process. Yes. So that's important to me. So I'm seeing some amazing, these ribbons here that we talked about. Yes. Which the story behind this now is like so meaningful that you almost, <laughs> can't even get away from it when you think about it. 
And so let's talk about some of the collection, some of the clothing that you've designed. Well, you know, it's interesting that you point these out. These are the recycled sari ribbons, which we also see them all within um, each bag. Uh -huh. But the recycled sari ribbons are from India, and these um, go back to a women's group in India from domestic violence mm -hmm. victims. Yeah. So this was the inspiration for my collection. This was the last piece in our collection. And as you could see, it's just like a lot of the hand-woven recycled sari ribbons mixed in with mm -hmm. some other textures and then also a lot of silk that's from Italy yeah so I love blending you know the Italian silk with the Indian silk yes. it's just to you know part of also my heritage yes. so it's like I'm weaving all of that into my designs and it's just a big inspiration for me and you know they're all very unique you can't get the same coloration yeah they're hand dyed again some of use um, vegetable dye so I think it's just really special it's just something that I love Absolutely. And part of my spring collection for more on this segment, log on to hipnewjersey.com.